posting something special. And I think that today demonstrated, whoever watched it, I mean, assume they really thought it was a, a great event. So, what about great. the way, we'll talk about the women first since that race was yeah. the women and then the men. I don't think either uh, group had a, uh, a stellar performance today. I don't know whether, I haven't talked to them yet, and I haven't even looked for the results. Um, but I think that, you know, sometimes when you, you can get <laughs> overly stimulated, and I think that that was certainly the case for our team. We don't have an upfront team. We have teams that um, basically have to work through the crowd. But when you go out so fast, uh, I mean, that mile in the men's race was crazy. Uh, and I, 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 somebody told me it's 4:15 at the mile. Yeah, uh, 2:29. They said it. Graham said that. So 2:29. Okay. And, 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 and I measured it. Kilometers accurate. <laughs> we did too. Four minutes. Uh, four minute pace for the first mile of the 10K. Hilly. So uh, I think our guys probably got a little bit. Well, I think men got a little bit overwhelmed. I think the women. Um, I have to really go back and look at that one because I don't really have a comment on it. But overall, I think the um, vast majority of those men and women are returned, so we'll see if we can do something for next year. Did losing Sophie, she was on crutches after the race, how, how big a blow? Was she one you thought would be in your counting five? Yeah, we thought she'd be in the top five. And, uh, she was in trouble early. She's been nursing, uh, uh, nursing this. Uh, this fibula for about three weeks now, so we thought she was ready, but um, clearly not. So hopefully she's doing fine. How about this novel idea of having NCAA cross country on the East Coast? <laughs> well, the NCAA is on the East Coast because it's easy proximity to a lot of teams that drive. Um, I think that probably uh, indicated, just, but it probably uh, accounted for so much popularity for the event. And I think if you look at it, we had paid it. We had people who bought tickets at 5,200 or something. But uh, I think at the end, everybody was just boarding the buses. So I have a sneaky suspicion we had closer to 7,000 people out here. Uh, I'm just looking at the crowd that's still here. I know you kind of touched on this, but for all the talk about a home course advantage and familiarity, is there added pressure on the UVA runners to perform well because they are at home? You know, I think I'd probably have to ask them. I think that uh, probably, I think that um, there's always, you know, we hosted a lot of uh, meets when I was at the University of Oregon. We hosted nine NCAA championships. Sometimes we were great, and sometimes we weren't. And uh, I think it just depends on uh, the personalities of the group. As I've said all along, I've never really felt that the home field uh, for a cross-country meet is necessarily a, I don't think anybody has a home field advantage. Everybody had an opportunity to compete here. All right, good for me. All right, guys.